What up, Mugman Nation? How's it going, fellow Mugmaners? I wasn't going to the DLC because I'm a lazy guy, but I had a lot of requests to finish it out. So here I am. Here is me beating the DLC with only Crackshot on Expert, of course. Let's get right into it. We are starting off with the Moonshine Mob. The first phase with Crackshot is awesome. The spider will just walk around. You can follow the guy around and just fire some crack at him. You'll never miss because Crackshot is the easiest weapon to use next to Chaser. You don't have to think when you're using this. When you're addicted to Crackshot, you don't have to think, you know, it's nice. And it's also a lot better than the chaser. So please use this instead of the chaser, guys. If you're using the chaser, go go get it easy to crack. Start using the crack shot, okay? It takes out the centipede. He will fire instantly. Just don't worry about that. It takes care of those pesky flies that spawn out. It's a very good weapon for the first phase. You shouldn't have any trouble with this if you're using the crack shot. The second phase, you get the thick bug. Not sure what kind of bug she is, but that caboose is crazy. It reminds me of Miss Fanny from the Robots movie, if you guys have ever seen that. But there's honestly not much going on here during the boss boss fight. Just keep cracking and shotting. It's good for taking up the barrels and the guards that run across the screen. I don't know what else to say, man. Just dodge the sound waves. This phase is easy oh, peasy. Just don't get too close to her. I know it's tempting, but stay away from her. You will take damage, okay? I I, 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 I I can't resist. The third phase, all you have to do is keep firing crack shot. I guess you could say it's pretty cracked for this boss. It does a good job at taking out those bug balls. Your only objective is to not get tongued by the anteater, which I tragically fail. Oh, what? But hey, it happens sometimes. Sometimes you just want a little tongue in your life and it's unavoidable. But hey, we run it back and we keep cracking it out. When in doubt, crack it out. Don't fall for that fake KO. And then, you know, the, the snail will come out of the top hat and all you have to do is step left to right and just get, oh. get, just fire your crack shot, you know? And there you have it. That's the moonshine mob. Not much else to say about this boss. It's an easy one. Too easy. That final phase is too easy. Didn't get tongue during the second phase and we did. Second try. Not bad. Just four or four minutes. Doggone dogfight time, guys. I'm gonna tell you right now, this was a doggone easy fight, huh? Uh, anyone? Dang, uh, tough crowd. The first phase, surprise, surprise, it was very easy with the crack shot, you know, because this is one of the best weapons in the game. It's too easy to use. You just aim up, dodge the tennis balls, dodge the bone attacks, and dodge the yarn attack. That's about it. You just jump, go left to right, duck, I don't know, however you want to dodge them. Because the biggest thing is, you don't have to worry about those pesky fire hydrants when you're cracking it out, you know, when you're using crack shot. Crack Crackshot takes care of them. You don't have to pay. I don't even pay attention to them because I already know I have full confidence that Crackshot's going to take them out instantly, okay? You just got to keep cracking it out and then they'll get close to you and then Crackshot Ooh. being the goat will just walk on and take them out instantly. Like, you, it, 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 I don't even pay any attention to those guys. Get out of here. Easy peasy, guys. I would go more into depth on this phase, but there really isn't much to say because, you know, Crackshot's OP and I, you know, I just love it. The second phase, I decided to spice things up a bit. I wanted to hit the secret phase, which on Honestly, was a lot harder than I expected it to. It took me a few tries to get it down. You have to get all the dogs to, like smoke gray or whatever. You gotta get them smoking. So I had to learn how to control the crack because you know it would just go whichever which way you'd shoot it, and I, it would just go to the closest enemy. So I really had to make sure I was hitting the right ones. What? I had to learn how to control the crack. I had to embrace the crack. I had to sniff the crack. I had to lift the crack. I had to wash the crack. I had to be the crack. And eventually, I got pretty good at this phase after a few tries, and I was hitting these flying dogs with precision and making them smoke gray and unlocking the secret phase. And now we're on to the final secret phase of this boss, guys. I thought this final phase would be a lot harder, but honestly, in the end, crack shot turns out is pretty cracked for the secret phase. I didn't know if you shot the dogs fast enough, they go away. Apparently, they don't like crack. And so if you do that, they won't throw those pesty grenades at you. And those grenades are a little annoying if they get out because, you know, if you're not paying attention, crack shot might hit one it blow up the grenade and then it would hit you, you know, like with a projectile oh it's like grim matchstick all over again if you just shoot fast enough and pay attention to where the dogs are it'll be a really easy fight for you i would just shoot some crack at the dogs and then focus my attention on the main baddie dog which you know is what you want to do anyways get the most damage and there you have it guys that's dog on dog fight and it was a dog on easy time <laughs> Uh, any, 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 come on, guys. Let me know. Let me know. Let's go. Dude, all I gotta do is face away from the grenades. I'm getting really good at, like, telling which one crack shot's gonna shoot. So that's really nice. We're getting better. We're getting there. I took a long time to just get that bonus phase, though. That's like a 15-minute boss. Or 11-minute boss, I think. 
Not bad. The third boss of the run is Mortimer Freeze, and I love this boss. I think the design is amazing, the background is awesome. Look at all those snow guys just cheesing, watching your demise. But with Crackshot, they will not be watching your demise, they'll be watching his demise. Now, for the first phase, all you have to do is hold on the fire button and walk left to right, and you'll be done. Look how fast that first phase was. I hope I got that correct. I hope, hope the fa first phase ends right now. And the second phase is my favorite second phase in the game. Maybe the entire game, not just the DLC. All the attacks are well choreographed. It's just a really Really fun Oops. boss fight. Not much to say about crack shot here. It's nice because it takes all those popsicles, but I mean, it's gonna be the same with every, like, any weapon, you know? There's not too much going on. You know, he has the rolly attack where he jumps over you, the fridge attack with the, with the ice cubes. It's a lot of fun. That's why I said it's really well choreographed because you always dodge the stuff the same way. You can kind of like thread the needle with it. You can you can, you can have fun with this boss. You know, you can, you can have a good time. I can do the second phase all day. I love doing it, which, you know, and apparently I'll have to because the third phase was my kryptonite. I thought the third phase was be easy. I don't know if it was because I was a little tired when I was making this video. Maybe I was a little hungry. Maybe I was just too accustomed to crack shot making things easy for me. Oh, right into the eyeball. Come on. Maybe this is just a hard third phase and you know, even the best of us have trouble with it. I get to the final phase constantly with like one HP or two HP and a dream and man, he knows how to send stuff flying at you. Oh, I shouldn't be giving this some trouble, this trouble, dude. But hey, my mom did not raise a quitter, so I continue pushing forward. And I mean, the more times I die, the more I get to admire this awesome boss and the more fun I have. I do not mind this at all. The first and the second phase are so much fun. This boss fight's awesome. Let me know what your favorite boss fight is in the comments. Even the final phase is a lot of fun, even though I'm having trouble with it. I love the eyeball mechanic. It's so fun to play around. I love the timing. I love the dashing. Oh! The only annoying thing I don't like is that annoying bucket attack. There's just so much stuff on the screen. The ice cream attack isn't that bad, but the bucket attack is, is like the bane of my existence. Like, even if I got to the final phase of 3 HP, I'd nice. still get dice stuff from all his attacks. But, uh, hey, eventually I do catch my stride, and the bucket attack does not bug me anymore, but the eyeball does, I guess, and I have 1 HP and a dream. Let's see if I can clutch this final phase out. Let's go! Let's go. I took a few more tries than I thought I would. Glumstone the Giant. This boss is pretty cool. It's not my favorite, but with Crackshot, I made light work of it, you know? During the first phase, he has a few attacks. He has the potion attack, which is easy with Crackshot. It doesn't matter which way you face, you'll hit his giant's, like, dumb head. The geese attack is probably the lamest attack in the game. There's no issues about it. I just hate geese. You guys ever try and walk by a geese and it just attacks you for no reason? Where I went to college, there were geese ever, and all it did was attack me. That was the world's tiniest jump. The next attack is the bear attack, and it's whatever. You just stand at the end and then dash back. It's not really, you know, an annoying thing to deal with. And then by the time those three attacks goes off, you should be done with phase one if you kept cracking and shotting. Kept cracked out, you know? Keep cracking. Keep cracking, boys. What's cracking? What's crack a lacking? <laughs> that was lame. And uh, let's go on to phase two. Phase two. Because of crack shot, you don't really have to worry about the jumping gnomes, just the giant ball he throws around. But sometimes, hey, even the best of us get overwhelmed by all the jumping gnomes. Oh. There's so much stuff to dodge. It's okay though, we run it back and I figured out the patterns. I got the rhythm down and I was able to, you know, like thread the needle on the jumping gnomes and dodge them. I was able to duck, dip, dive, and you know, not just not get hit by them. Crackshot held out a ton too, cause you know, it takes care of them. It, it auto homes on those gnomes. And also the good thing about Crackshot in this phase is you'll hit the puppets no matter what. Unless it's hitting a gnome, then it'll deal with that instead. It's free DPS, you literally can't miss. And then he cracks the stage and eats you up. And we are on to the Board final up, stage and fighting whatever this thing is. is it a Stomach ulcer? I'm not sure. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You're cracked out. You're using one of the best weapons in the game. The crack shot. Woohoo! Yeah! Crack shot! Just dodge the chicken, parry the bell, and you'll be perfectly fine. I don't really bring up the, the, the darts because, hey, they don't really bug me at all. They're so easy to dodge. They move so slowly. Let's go! Once I got to the final phase, it was easy money. I have to get past that first phase. I didn't think long at all. I was like three minutes. Chef Salt Baker time. The final boss of the DLC. One of the best boss fights in all of Cuphead, in my opinion. I love this boss. It's an actual challenge on Expert. During the first phase, there's just so much stuff flying at you. If you stop focusing for even a second, you're done for, you know? Like, on my first try, I'm already down to one HP. Oh, down to one HP already, huh? And a dream. Let's see if I can clutch this out. Ooh. 
That carrot came right for me, man. That was a heat-seeking carrot. Dang it, I guess that first phase is a little too overwhelming, but hey, nothing is impossible with Crackshot. And don't forget, Mugman Nation, I am cracked at this game. And I'm also using one of the most cracked weapons in this game, the Crackshot. I had to lock in because I was getting tired and I didn't want to do this boss for too long. I dodge the animal crackers, I evade the sugar cubes, and I make quick work of the limes. And the one thing I do is I never let go of that fire bun. If you are using Crackshot, do not stop firing, okay? If you just dodge everything and you will get to the second phase, that's, that's all you got to do is literally just hold on the fire button, just dodge everything. I know it's easier said than done, but you guys can do it, Mugman Nation. You guys are good at this game. I believe in you. And we are now on to the second phase. And with Crackshot, it's way too easy and it's also extremely satisfying. There isn't much thought that goes into this phase if you use this weapon. If you just aim up, you will hit at least one salt shaker eventually. My tip for this boss is only move after the little flame jumps. It'll make dodging everything a lot easier because, you know, there won't be something flying through the air. Just pay attention to when they jump, pay attention to what salt shaker is sneezing out some pot, and watch out for those leaves, and you should make quick work of this second phase. The third phase is a joke of crack shot. There's not much to say about it. Just keep cracking, dodge whatever's on the floor, and stay away from that dancing salt. And we are now on to the final phase. I thought this would be a lot easier, but crack shot actually misses a ton because the heart just moves around, so you kind of have to aim. But at the same time, if you keep cracking it out, eventually some will hit. Sadly, I take some dumb damage and miss a parry on the heart resulting in a loss of health and then i make another dumb mistake and i am down to one hp and a uh, dream what? let's see if i can clutch out this final phase let's go dude one hp and a dream i like spaced out at the end missed the platform had three hp at the final phase took me two like what i was like three minutes why was that easier than the freaking ice wizard the the, like the ice wizard from Adventure Time. What's his name again? I forgot his name. How did I forget his name? Oh, you thought it was over? Nope. I am also going to include this secret boss in this run. I know I always forget about it, but this time I shall conquer it. The angel and the devil boss. And I was not used to this boss. Honestly, I forgot it existed. This was like my third time actually fighting it just because, you know, I never do it. I didn't realize you could refight it. I had to Google it to figure out how to do it, but we got it. And ah, man, I forgot how hard this boss fight was. This boss was dicing me up. How it works if you face a boss it will turn into the devil and the other one behind you will be an angel and none of the attacks from the angel will hurt you they will not harm you at all unless you face it again and they like reanimate and they will hurt you and wow this made it annoying i forget about projectiles flying at me and i was just face tanking damage left and right even with crack shot it was still annoying i have this weird habit when i jump i always turn around because it makes adjustments easier and like you know i'm able to land where i want to and this made this boss a lot harder than it should have i'd be killing it and suddenly i get Get hit and I panic. Next thing I know, I get hit again and I am down to one HP and a dream. But sadly, there is no dream. Well, I guess there is because we are in a dream state right now fighting this boss. But I just get hit again and I perish. Uh, I had that. If you aren't careful, the screen will fill up and if you turn around for a second, you will get hit. Uh -huh. But luckily, we have crack shot, and no matter where you shoot, you will always score a hit, and that's about the only thing I had going for me. But I kind of went into this boss blind with no practice, but you already know, crack shot is cracked, I'm cracked, and once I broke the habit of like turning around when I jumped, this boss got a lot easier, and it was a lot more fun. Honestly, awesome boss, awesome mechanic, very creative. I love this boss. I don't know why I slept on it. I don't know why I've never done it. Let's go. That was clutch. Four minutes on that final boss, not fast. So what? 41 minutes in total? That's the final end of the challenge, guys. I did the secret boss because I know you guys call me out on it every time. Thanks for watching, Mugman Nation. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments. Guys, we have another video coming out very soon. I got some YouTube shorts coming out. Go drop a like on this video. Drop a subscription. Let me know what you guys think. Guys, thanks for watching, Mugman Nation. Mugman Nation! Mugman Nation! Mugman Nation!